Hello, friends, and welcome to Time With You Late. Today we have Kate Leo playing Fantasy in F Minor, Opus 49 by Chopin. The Fantasy in F Minor, Opus 49 by Frederick Chopin is a single movement work for the piano, composed in 1841 when he was 31 years old. From Chopin's letters, it is known that he used the same fantasy to show some sort of freedom from rules and give a romantic expression. Frederick Chopin continued the tradition of a self-contained movement in his fantasy. This fantasy is one of Chopin's longest pieces and is considered one of his greatest works. At the Chopin International Piano Competition in 2015. The International Chopin Piano Competition has been held every five years approximately since 1927, with the exception of being delayed because of occupation of Poland by Germany in World War II. In this competition in 2015, Kate Leo took third place, a bronze, while Charles Richard Hamlin took a silver from Canada, while Sung Jin Cho from Korea took gold. This is the first stage of the competition. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Fantasy in F minor, Opus 49, Kit Leo. I can't recall if I've heard this piece, guys. It really doesn't ring a bell. By the way, if you want information on the piece itself, additional information, it's in the description. We have some more information there, as well as a little more information about the competition. Kate has a beautiful smoothness to her playing. So smooth, so subtle, and very, very elegant. You know, it, it's so unique how different pianists have different personalities when they play the piano and there's different styles this is really legendary the way she just so subtly entered the the opening of the piece you feel it the feel the grace in the note she's playing and the style that she has but it lines up with chopin's original thoughts i think of the piece i've heard this before i do believe Guys, this is the first stage. To me, this piece that I've I've heard many Chopin pieces. You guys have too. This one represents more a, t a period piece to me than Chopin. It's got the tone of a period piece of the mid to late 19th century for sure. But I don't know. It just sounds that way to me, you know? It, it reminds me of a period piece rather than his ballads and his etudes. and his... It's got that ring to it, unless that's just how Kate's playing it, you know? So gentle. It's got it's got dark undertones. This piece it goes back to that melody, that darkness of the melody, and that's while Chopin was in, while Chopin had a lot of despair, and a lot of sadness in his work. He always had a way of communicating love and brightness. This one has that just epic darkness in that main melody. It's really unique. Wow, a 
she is commanding that piano. She's owning this. Very period. Already the the main melody and the structure of it is very period for the late nineteenth century, for sure. The mid nineteenth century, I should say. Very uh, the entertainer like, you know, if you know that piece, it's very very much like that. It has that feeling of that. I think Chopin maybe dabbled with this one to go a little more not mainstream, but be a little a little more. See, but he adds his own flair to it. Magnificent. Oh. It's got it's got him all over it. It's got his signature for sure. Oh my god. That's beautiful. So robust. She's giving it everything. Oh. There it is. It was the first hint of a moment. That was the first moment, guys. That was the first moment. You feel it? Did you feel it when I kicked back and felt it? Oof, I love it. That's the beauty of Chopin. It always makes you feel something. Always. Beautiful soft melody here. What a way to follow that. <sighs> so unique. It is so unique. Kate is a very special artist for sure. This is quite a performance. Quite a performance. <sighs> Oh. She just flowed through that like she was playing for Elise. You know, she did that beautifully. That was so elegant, so beautiful, and powerful and strong at the same time. That was really something. <sighs> that was beautifully done. It's just there's a ring to her playing. It's a beautiful resonance that goes... And an aura around her playing, an energy, you know, for sure. Mm. Oh. 
My goodness. It is so visceral, this this piece especially. Visceral is the word I could think of. It's it's very human. It makes you feel down to earth. It makes you feel humbled by this music. It just it makes you reflect on our mortality, really. You know, it just oof, it's so intense. That's what comes to my mind. It's like, but that's what makes it beautiful, you know? Joyous, beautiful melody. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. beautiful and joyous and a little touch of despair and chaos it's just oh. and she really owned this performance oh that's glorious that is glorious god classical music always makes everything better you know Let's see the finale here, guys. She's really bringing it home so far. This is the first stage. Got her easily to the second stage. You can tell by this performance. It was stellar. Let's see how she finishes this piece. There's an undertone to it. I, I don't think she could have done this any better. I really don't. There's not one thing that in my opinion she could have changed to make it any better. It was perfect, perfect performance. Perfect performance. Absolutely perfect. Mm. 
she was in it. Full emotion in it, full everything. Just gave everything she had to this movie. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, that was stellar. Let's hear that applause. Wow, wow, guys, that was fantastic. And you know what? That'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe as we do this quite often. This has been Time with Eli. I appreciate you watching. And remember, music is beautiful, life is beautiful, and you're beautiful. Thank you for watching. Take care.